Hi everybody! Welcome to our second tutorial movie about Seedex's AI-powered seed breeding tools. In this tutorial video, I'm going to introduce you to the Genie web platform, the most exciting and advanced breeding analysis tool available today, and show how Genie can be used to enrich your populations. You can use the Genie web platform as an integrated part of your breeding program, as part of your seed production pipeline, or if you're part of the food industry, for advanced QA analysis, traceability detection, and more. Today, we're going to focus on the breeding part. The biggest advantage over traditional molecular breeding procedures is that with the Genie web platform, you can use the most advanced breeding methods with no need for any genomic information, no need for DNA extraction, or any molecular markers. You can have the results within a few minutes, and the Genie method is non-destructive to the seeds being evaluated. Using the Genie web platform will help you increase breeding probabilities and shorten breeding time. Let's see what the system can do by looking at part of an ongoing breeding program and following the detailed pedigree of one family within this program. Typically, seed image information for AI and machine learning produces multi-dimensional outputs that are hard to represent to a visual scheme. To reduce this complexity, we reduce the information to just two dimensions. Each dot represents one seed, and the different color represents different lines. The scale in the scheme represents the overall distance between the dots. The closer they are, the closer the dots. Let's break this chart down to get a better idea of what's happening in the results. Now we're looking only at the two parental lines of this population. Each color represents a different line. The two lines represent different sets of genetic traits, fruit size, small versus big, fruit color, fruit taste, and more. The lines are quite far from each other in the scheme, and the variation in each one of the parental lines is narrow. We can add to the scheme the F1 of these two parental lines. You can see here the red dots. As you'd expect, F1 is highly uniform with low variation. Now we can add the F2 population in light blue. As expected for F2 populations, it has the highest variation. Let's see how the breeder can use this scheme in his breeding program. In traditional breeding, the selection of F2 seeds is done randomly and depends on the location the breeder has in the field and on the relevance of the specific population. In contrast to traditional breeding, by having this variation scheme, the breeder can decide to select seeds that are closer to one parent or the other to better represent the overall variation that have in this specific population and much more. Now we add the F3 population. The F3 originates from one of the F2 seeds, and as can be expected, the overall variation is smaller. Moving to the F4, as we continue to stabilize the line and increase its homozygosity, the variation is further reduced. Now, if we go back to the full family scheme, you can imagine what additional layers of information can be added to this scheme. Resistance to different biotic traits, specific traits of interest, fruit shape, taste, color, and much more. As we've just demonstrated, by using the Genie web platform, you now have the visibility and control needed to enrich populations, significantly improve selections, and shorten time to market. 